Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at simple interest and we are finding the time it takes in months to get a certain amount of money. So take a moment, read the problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, let's start by reading the problem. Alexandra has a bank account and it pays 9.9% .9 simple interest. Great. That is called our R value, our rate. So that's 9.9%, .9%, so 9.9 .9 out of 100. And that's 0 0.099. We're getting somewhere. The starting balance is 59.51. That is our principal. So putting all of this money into the account, it's our principal or starting amount, 59.51. When, okay, so here is our time piece. When, we're going to try to find that, will the account grow to a future value of 8307.6? But I'm going to Highlight 8307.6 in yellow. I'm going to leave green for the things we're finding. All right, so this is, F, I'll call it FV, our future value. That's what our account's going to end up equaling. And we don't know how long it's going to take to get there. But notice this, they want us to round the nearest month, right? And let's do green again. We're trying to find time. Okay, so T is typically in years. So we're trying to find months. So how do we do that? So we have some value in years t, but we want to write that as months. We want to use 12. So do you divide by 12 or multiply by 12? Think about that for a second. Well, here we're going to multiply by 12. Think about this. If you have two years as t, and I, and I want you to tell me how many months that is, well, there's 12 months per year. So 2 times 12 would give me 24 months as an example. So I just, actually my first take of this video, I wrote t divided by 12, and I had to start over. It's, um, you know, it's very easy to mix that up. So to do a little test in your mind or write it down to see does this make sense. In this case, you can plug in a number of years and see, okay, it's getting me the right thing. If I tried division, it wouldn't work, right? If you plugged in three years, three divided by 12 is a fourth. How would that make sense, right? Three years is a fourth of a month. It doesn't work. So test it out. Now, to, to solve this problem, we have to find out how much interest we're actually accumulating, i. That's the interest. So we want to do our future value minus our principal. We want to find that difference between 8307, I keep using green, 8307.6 minus 59.51. So 8307.6 minus 59.51. Let's see what that is. Get our calculator out. Okay. I think I have it there already, but let me let me just start over. So 8307.6 minus 5951, 2356.6. So 2356.6. That is our interest. This is our I value. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna write I over here again. That's our I value. Now interest is equal to the principal amount times the rate times the time. But here we're trying to find our time value. That's the missing piece. So we want to get that all by itself. So in my mind, the steps to solve this are to find t. That's going to give us t in years, and then take that and multiply by 12 to find how many months we have. To get t by itself, I want to kind of move things around in this formula. I want to get rid of this p and the r on both sides. So I'm going to divide by it. p times r divided by itself, as long as they're not 0. That cancels out to 1. So time equals interest divided by P over R. And I'm just going to rewrite it this way. I'm going to say that this is the same formula as an if and only if statement. But the idea is that these two formulas are the same. Equals interest over P times R. And I'm going to plug in the values I have. What is my interest? Stop using green, Sean. The interest is 2356.6. It's right there. So 2356.6, that's a 6, over P times R. So 59.51, that is, right, that is our P value. And then our R value is 0 0.099, 099. And this will give us our time in years. So time in years, what is that? Let's calculate it. So keep the order of operations in mind here. You want to do 2356.6 and then divide that by, but first, you don't want to just divide by 5951. You want to find that product first. So put it in parentheses. 
59.51, remember parentheses take priority, times 0 0.099, close those parentheses, it gets you about four. So for your answer here, you can say it's about four, but I'm not gonna round yet, right? So then we wanna find time in years times 12, that's the number of months, and then we wanna round that answer. So you wanna really round only at the last step. So the calculator can keep this long string of digits intact. Just press times, see A and S, it's gonna use that previous answer, exactly times 12. And then this is what you wanna round. So it's about, so that would be 48.00008147, but to the nearest month is 48 months. And that is the time we were looking for in months, right? All right, I hope that helped.